things are going well here in the city of Kettlebridge, but we want more. We are going to expand out here to the furthest reach of the mainland and see if we can fit in the airport along with the cargo upgrades that we unlocked last episode. And while we're here, we're going to try and make the best use of all the natural resources we've got here. Maybe more forestry. We've got ore. We've got oil. We've got farmland. All sorts of things to expand into our cargo harbour that we built in the last episode. We're swiftly approaching approaching 200 million dollars in our bank account we are making i can waver between 10 15 up to 20 million a month which is amazing and can we use all of that to get our tax rate even lower than zero percent or even lower and some of these other things and really push our city to the next level let's dive in and find out so welcome back everybody my name is biffa and we're in the city of kettle bridge and we are expanding a lot let's just zoom out a little bit and see we've got our great harbor that we built here last time i've also extended a load of farms along here added some more well these are basically all chicken farms because that's the only thing you can put down on non-fertile land uh, we have some forestry going on over here but we are just going to keep on expanding as much as possible and making all of the money man it's a cloudy day today let's have a look over here and see what we can unlock this is the edge of the map you can see where the trees line stops and where the highway stops and we want to just unlock as much of this as possible how big is that airport that we're trying to squeeze in it's not huge which is good i know once we get into the international airport that is going to be humongous um but i'd like to attach this down here with some cargo use and i'm thinking maybe more to over here would be good on this little peninsula and then we can start attaching that to the main area of our land and building up around here so let's start by whizzing around here and unlocking some of these squares so if we take all of that what does that come to that's 24 out of our 34 that will give us access to the land uh let's grab that access to the land access to the uh highway i've unlocked 150 tiles so i've got a little pop-up that's what that little noise was um let's have a look at our natural resources that will give us access to the farm the oil and almost all of the ore so if i grab those two as well that'll be good that's outside the map there's this one here that i wanted to grab two and we'll see how we go with that wow there's a lot of stuff going on here right looking at our production the biggest thing that we need at the moment is oil um and if we place a lot of oil drilling stuff down uh, we will unlock i think i want to go into this menu here we've got the paper factory if we have one more forestry building so we're definitely going to get that oh this one the oil refinery we need more industrial manufacture buildings we need to get ten thousand cells covered we've got nine thousand almost 400 so we're probably not too far off from doing that maybe let's concentrate on the airport first of all and i'd like to use this piece of land here let me remove all the trees first of all so we've got a nice flat piece of land to work on there we go excellent that'll be good and then i'm thinking we are just going to pop this airport right in the middle and now you can see coming out of either end you've got these sort of that blue outline um, if there's any high-rise buildings or anything in the way of that it's a problem and also you can't have it sticking outside although it is sticking outside but it's not actually causing a problem is it so maybe that's okay let's spin that around and i'm thinking that is just gonna go why not there oh and the next milestone excellent metropolis more money that we don't need we've probably hit 300 million nearly loads more tiles loads more points oh is there anything interesting we can unlock that's going to help us with this fantastic build uh yeah we can now get the international airport i am definitely going to get that spacex will hang fire we won't get that just yet I don't think we need any of these items at the moment the large hadron collider that is very interesting we'll come back to that i think we're probably okay on the rest of these i'd like to keep the money just in case at one point soon we'll do some stuff with the electricity the underground parking building i am definitely going to get that 
and we'll save our points and see how we go. Well, now that we've done that, I'm realizing that we've got the other airport we could pop in, the International Airport, which is, oh my giddy aunt, that thing is absolutely humongous. Wow. Uh, where's the road connection for that? It's hard to tell because it's so big that the piece of land I'm trying to put it on is not big enough. I'm wondering now whether we can make a change. We're going to delete this. We're going to buy some more squares over here. Zoink. And we are going to see if we can build this out and pop it on there. Let me just flatten out this piece of land a little bit for our airport. There we go. That is much bigger than it was before. Let's grab this and see whether that is large enough to fit on there. Now, we're getting an exceeding city limits, but it's letting us place it. So I'm thinking we're going to have to come further down here. Okay, let's just extend this out. Well, let's just go with that. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Load of points for doing that. Very good, very good. Let's just take a look at this building. This is... A fine looking building. Oh, got a nice grass covered top. We've got trains coming in and out. We've got parking. We've got big fat roads that go in this way and come out the other way. Got a bit of cargo type stuff going on here with a separate little road connection. And then we've got the two runways, not the longest runways I've ever seen. Whoa, auto save. Let's have a very quick sip of tea. And then we've got all the stalls for the planes and stuff like that. Very nice, very nice. Um, let's just have a look and see if there's any additions we can add on to this. There isn't. That is the size of it. That's as big as it's going to be. Um, it's got a load of problems. That's fine. Plus 10% attractiveness citywide. 10% interest in university education citywide. Plus 10% demand for software citywide. We've got this policy of a parking fee. We're going to keep that free because we're still making tons of money, which is fine. It's got some storage. Okay, so the fact that this doesn't have anything it can add on to the building. I should have had a look at this before we uh, picked it up. But this one has a cargo addition which can be put on here. And I'm now wondering whether we save this one and use it on the other side of the map. Oh, flashy, flashy. And do that instead. Let's see how we go with this one. Okay, so we're going to need some roads at the front. And we've got this rail line. Oh, does it have Metro? That is not the underground button. I'm surprised it hasn't got Metro that I can see. Let's maybe go into the Metro through this way, just in case there's a weird little thing. It doesn't look like it, does it? Okay, that's fine. Well, we're going to stick with the train. So I want to run this line out. That's, that's a double line. Let's run that out nice and straight and just see where that takes us. That's going to take us off the map. So we're definitely going to have to spin this around a bit over here. So let's maybe get our interchange sorted on here first. I quite like this single point urban interchange because it doesn't take up too much room. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that up to there. It doesn't take up too much room. And we can easily hook into that in both directions as well. So let me just pop that down there. And then we can have our train line come around here as well. Let me just hook these two roads up. There we go. That's fine. And then I'm just going to extend the on and the off ramps over there just a little bit more and i'll do the same over here as well get those on the outside where they belong excellent um and then we've got our train line which i'm thinking that's got to go underneath so let's just do a little bit of work on the land here let's get that down that's too big so if we go to there and to there I'm going to terraform all the rest at some point, so do not worry yourself about that. And then we'll grab that and bring that through. Um, I'm just thinking with this... Yeah, let's connect this line going underneath the train line. Then we can sort of work on this one here. I'm going for something just a little bit different rather than the same old thing all the time.
there we go just to keep that interesting and then we need to connect this road down here so it's definitely going in on that side and it's a six lane road as well so i'm just wondering whether hmm is this going to be big enough i mean really what have we got yeah we've got a six lane road there so let's work out what we can do with this so i'm thinking i'd like this road to come down the middle here and i'm just wondering can you put a train line on a road above a road let's just have a look and pop that down there i mean i don't see why you shouldn't be able to if we just lift that up and then yeah look it instantly puts those on if i get it lined up correctly i don't know why that's going off at a weird angle but yes you can there we go yeah that will work so let's just get rid of all of that um this line here i'm going to remove i'd like it to go above the road and i'd like the road to go down the middle all uh, right, we are going to use... We've got six lanes going in, six lanes going out. This is a road we don't actually have because the biggest we have is a five-lane one-way road there or a five-lane there. We don't have a six-lane one-way, but I'm thinking three lanes will be good uh, going in. Uh, we could do the highway. I think we'll do that one. And then if we hook that into the middle there, then we'll get it splitting out into... Oh, let you go quite a way in. Uh, let's you split out then into the lanes going in the different directions. I'm going to just reverse that. 180, 12U long. Don't worry about the direction of the road. We'll get that sorted. Uh, 180, 10, 11. Come on. 11.37, 12U long. There we go to give us a start. And then down the center here, we will grab six lane divided and we're just gonna use that center point there so there we go if we do that and then we've got our snapping on so we should be able to snap that to the top of here and run all the way to the end how does that look that looks good we've got the pillars underneath fantastic and then i'd like this to curve round somehow into here with a roundabout and then this going over the top that's the idea of what i'm looking for um, whether that's going to be possible or not, I don't know. Let's try it out. So if we attach to the end of that, 180 degrees, come out 30, 30U, and then curve that in to down here somewhere. Do I want to do that? They're going to be going up there, going in... Hang on a sec. What the... What? Hang on a minute. Am I just going mentally? So we're going up on the left... But they need to go in over here and down on the right. They need. Oh, have they got these <laughs> roads switched around on here. Well, that's not very flipping helpful, is it? So definitely we're going to have to have a roundabout, but all the traffic is going to be crossing over each other as they come in and out. Okay, well, yeah, there's not much we can do about that. All right, let's just see if we can get something lined up here then. Okay, there we go. So we've got our shape that we want. Um, let's get these straight into here. And then I'm really hoping that we're going to be able to just add a roundabout onto here. I'd be surprised. Oh, we can. It all goes over the top nicely. There we go. So they're going to be coming in on this side going around then leaving there and when they come out so yeah not ideal but we'll just have to go with it this up here i'm not quite sure where this road's going to go to to be honest whether we need this and then if we don't need that do we need a roundabout yeah i, I think if we try to do it with a t-junction everyone's going to be crossing over each other so much that's going to be a right royal pain in the backside let's go with that let's just let's just deal with it and then we can hook this up onto here there we go so we've got our train we've got our road coming in and out we can add taxes we can do all sorts of things uh let me just hook up this road and this railway line okay so i've slightly changed this here we've got two train bridges we've got this all set up we've got it hooked into a roundabout with a road that can go that way and take in this side of the highway then it swings round. We've got the rail that goes on top all the way up. And then we've got the two rows that split off. We do need some car access outside the front here for all the car parks. Excellent. Everywhere that needs access has got access. Good, good, good. Um, what else do we need to set up? So for this one, we are definitely going to have to set up our routes, aren't we? So we've got 
our passenger line tool and our cargo line tool and we seem to have a lot of different oh i see we've got the cargo is here at the front it's going to come out there right okay oh this is going to be weird isn't it because people are going to come down here and they want to swing if only these roads went the other way around because what i was going to do was add a little road that goes up there to bypass this corner because uh, we're going to have trucks coming out of there. this is going to be interesting to see whether this ends up giving us a whole load of traffic uh we will see so i'm going to go from there down and just round like that which I know everybody's crossing over the wrong ways and it's all a bit orky vorky and things like that. This actually only needs to be one way, doesn't it? Of course. Um, let's change that. There we go. And that needs to be two ways, but we know it's going to cross over. Okay. And then I'm assuming this one is going to need to be the same. That's coming out, going in. No, that should be okay. We'll leave that one like it is, I think. So if they're dropping off, if they're coming out, they can go straight out. Yeah, they'll be okay. It's just that one there. We need a bit of hawky walkiness. Okay, well, let's add some routes in then. Maybe let's do the passenger ones first until we get all of our other industry stuff set up because that's going to be, uh, yeah, a lot of industry things that need to get going. So I'm thinking if we start here and where do we go? Do we literally just go up to here? So this is to Runnymede and back again. So that's one that's set up. Are they all going to be the same colour? They are. Well, that's very handy. Um, and then where's the next one? All the way over here. So that's to Mannington. Yoink. And back again. Was that this one here? Complete routes. Yeah. Then we'll go here. So is there one on each side? There's the other one. So we're going to go to Truxton. So actually, I'm going to remove that. We're going to do that one over here. There we go. We're going to go to Truxton and back again. And I do know that if you add even more routes, which you can do, and routes, there we go, multiple routes go into the same place, which you can do. So, for instance, if we go from there and over to here, there we go, and we can go back again and make that another route. But we're going to go for one route for each of our four main directions, and we'll see how that goes. And I am thinking now... Let's just do the cargo ones as well while we're here. And the last one, all the way over here to there. Excellent. So we've got cargo and we've got passenger routes from all of our four destinations. So if we have a look in here, there we go. Public transport airline, we've got the four routes. Um, aircraft, one or two on each, depending on how far they are, I would guess. And then cargo airport route, the same. Excellent. I will probably name those off camera. Uh, when I can be bothered. Oh, we got planes coming in and going already. Hang on a second, please. Slow down. Let's see what's going on. So, en route, zero passengers on airline two from Mannington. Okay. Uh, zero passengers from Runnymede to Runnymede. And where are you coming in from? Cargo route with nothing in. So, they're sending planes in already, even though there's nothing on them why not let's just get the pilots used to the route we want them to know where they're going to safely land all that good stuff make sure your wings aren't clipping anything yep you're going to come into here once this starts what a flipping 180 turn that was it was like on the spot 180 handbrake turn fantastic let's get you all taken off i love the look of the cargo planes very nice very nice so yeah once these all start filling up Oh, you're taxiing, aren't you? <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing. And you're off. Maybe let him go first, just in case there's any issues. Why not? Let's just all go at the same time. And he's gone. Excellent. Okay, so once these start getting filled, filled up with goods and people and passengers, we'll start seeing all the trains and stuff. Um, do I need to set up a passenger train route uh, through here? So, passenger railway line. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, let's have you coming all the way down. I feel like at some point we need a passenger train line in there. But we're going to have one go all the way into here. Uh, we've only got the any of these spare. Yeah, there we go. That one's spare. So this is over the other side. Where we've got our nice uh, tourism place. People like to come and look at the things. And then we'll bring you back to here. And then we'll go from this one all the way through to so that is our depot where else have we got a train line it's somewhere 
<laughs> it's it's somewhere. There it is. Right up the back, past Spencer Croft, up past the other university. This is going to be a long way round. What? My root thing, it's just disappeared. What? You can't do that to me. I'm in the middle of a place in a root. Okay, we'll try that one again. Okay, you're going to go from there. All the way. Oh, I'm just past the autosave. All the way to... I'm completely lost. Where am I? Teeling down. Here we go. All the way to over here. Is there a spare platform? No, we'll go with... That one, and then all the way back again. Man, this place is getting big. This place is getting big. And then that's this one here. Complete the route. Yep, routes are done. Excellent. So now we're going to see people taking those. What have we got here? So we've got taxi stands on here as well. We've got bus stops on here. Ah, okay. Wow. These planes are flying in at a hefty rate, aren't they? So £600,000 a month that's costing us. We're still making, yeah, five grand We're a month. We're not too bad. Plenty of employees, efficiency off the charts, comfort 100, and all of our air routes. We don't have buses. I haven't got a huge amount of buses at the moment. Oh, wonder where you're going. But, oh, there's another one coming in as well. Look at that. Excellent. Can we get inside here to have a look we can oh and there's some people that have already arrived that are taking our double decker train toddle along toddle 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 to other parts of our city fantastic is there anybody coming in not yet but we'll we'll see as that goes along so i want to just see whether that's going to start bringing some of our cargo as well Oh, I'm a oh, little grief. That was close. I'm liking the look of that. And we've got a crime scene. Okay. Well, we need to add a load of other things on here. We'll get to that. We'll leave that humming away nicely. How is everybody? Lots of wealth, still high rent. Okay. Never mind. Right. Okay. So before we tidy all this up, let's have a look at the land we have around here. Natural resources. There we go. So the farmland we've built over the top of that, that's fine. This we're not going to get to. Oil. We are going to get to that. That is right here. So let me put together a nice little oil area. So I'm thinking for this one, we're going to go for nothing too complicated. I'm going to run a road straight through the middle there and then straight through the middle there. And we're going to build off of that. And then that can hook in. If we just toggle off all of that so we can see what we're doing. This can hook in down here. Like so is that going to let me hook in like so somewhere through there yep there we go we're going to upgrade that upgrade upgrade very good excellent so we get that road going in and out how's that looking it's got it's such a big road there's a lot going on so we've got the traffic lights that's fine um and then we can just pop some oil things around here like this there we go nothing too complicated in there i think the central section we are definitely going to add a nice large roundabout and then i've left some gaps all the way around these so we can zone in um some of these i think i'm just going to zone in the whole lot from beginning to end there we go excellent oh oil refinery that is what we want very good very good let us take a look at the oil refinery that is going to be a big building so we've got some bonuses there plus one university graduation chance citywide man this must be stacking up i don't know if there's somewhere where you can see all of these bonuses all in one place but that would be a good idea wouldn't it plus five percent interest in university education plus two percent industrial efficiency our money makers are going oh, we passed 300 million as well we are mega mega rich this thing is going to be big this thing's going to be very big. Uh, let's just make sure we're not going to be putting it over the top of anything we don't want to. No. So I'm thinking this road is going to end up coming around here somewhere at some point. So this doesn't end up being um, a dead end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this six lane road, put on that, and maybe just sort of follow... Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's delete that. That is a bit of a dip there. I didn't realise. There we go. We're learning things already. <laughs> Let's just maybe flatten this out just a little bit. There we go. There we go. Straight in, straight out. And then we don't want any right turns there. 
Okay, I'm left clicking to say stop the right turn. There we go, excellent. And that will just sort of speed that up a bit. We could downgrade this road here for the lame mathematics, but I think that's going to be fine. And already people are coming in and out using that. Very good. Already lots of businesses in here. Very good. So I'm thinking this spot over here could be for the oil refinery. So if we just grab this one, mm, they've got a bit of a hill there. We've got a bit of a flat land situation going on here. So if I just sort of push that back a little bit like so that was actually pushed back more than i wanted but there we go and then we'll grab that oil refinery uh, which side is the road the road's that way hmm if i sort of have it like that I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking as we're doing this and then we can have this road has got to go along here for the road access and then we could just sort of swerve that around a bit and see how that goes. Let's get that height. Let's get that down to there. Yeah, there we go. I've pushed it back a bit. We'll work on the land. And I'm deliberately not sort of lining it up exactly square with everything else. Because I want a load of industry and different things around here. And I want this shipping cargo in and out. Nothing yet. Storage for later use. We'll see what happens, but we could definitely put some industry and things around the back of here and a little bit of judicious smoothing. Look at that. You never would have noticed that I had completely decimated the terrain mere minutes ago. There we go. Excellent. So that is definitely going to be more oil, which is what we need. We are very low on the oil. We've got such a huge deficit. Do you mind? I'm trying to talk. Stop flying your plane right in front of me. Um, yeah, very big deficit on there um i don't know whether there's any other oil around here nearby that is all i mean there's this one that's off the map that's all i mean there's that one down there is that on the map it is but i'm not going to do that today yeah i think we'll have to just go with that for now and see how we go right i'm just going to tidy up this little island a little bit here we are going to just expand it out a bit so i'm taking the height of up there let's just give ourselves there we go as much room as we can there we go all the way around that we can play with and we're going to get our normal road Excellent. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the extended road tools mod. We're going to turn these rows here into a key. So I'm going to left click on the outside edge, come all the way down here and do that. Then do the same on there on the outside edge to there. And same on there. I'm going to do all the way up to here. And then we'll see how much of that ends up staying island or land. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Grab, say, that height. And then we can push that back. And we should get, if we get what up to there, look at that, a nice key wall. So let me just do that all the way around and tidy this up. Not quite finished yet, but there we go. The water's filling in. And then I want to sort of measure a corner piece. I don't know whether I'm going to give, I've left myself enough room. Um, let's just grab this. So if we actually hook it onto there and go back, say, five, and that will be there. So we'll take off that piece that piece and that piece and then if we go there right on the end and go out 3.27 427 527 it's not letting me do five out from there come on game i just want five four two seven why does it do that <laughs> okay i'm going to turn all the snap twos off apart from right angle there we go look and then we can get five four nine seven four nine nine Come on. Oh, five. Excellent. And then I put almost... Actually, that's 90 degrees. That's fine. And then we'll take... Wrong button. And then we'll take that, that, and that off. Excellent. And now we can just curve that in. Let's put all my snap twos back on. Like so. Is that not quite... Oh, I know why it's not quite looking right. Because we want that to be a key wall. There we go. And then to get rid of this little corner piece, we have to make this a lot smaller... Well, that's the wrong tool altogether. There we go. Zoink it around there like so. And bish bash bosh. 
that's what it's going to look like all the way around. Right, let me just spend a few minutes tidying all this up. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty pleased with how that looks around there. A little bit herky-jerky, jaggy with the water until you zoom in a bit, then it looks okay. Um, we've got some space for some other roads around here. I'm just wondering. Let's just go into here, grab our road, make it nice and straight. How much space do we have in here? None. So that is literally up against the very end of the thing so if we oh look we can't even get that to go in there oh i know why now why is that let me go across the landing and taking off zone here but it doesn't let me do it around there man my voice is getting croaky i'm almost over this cold by the way it's just yeah catching me out a little bit we go like that and then this end will stop there and then bring this one down as far as it will go then that gives us a little bit of space i'm hoping we can pop in like say some firehouses and things like that we can so if i go there with a firehouse for that sort of little area uh we could pop in i don't know whether these don't, don't seem big enough do they let's just have a look what options do we have fire so we've got the fire station actually already unlocked so that's fine police station prison police headquarters all right i didn't realize we actually all had those unlocked already let's just get rid of that let's jump in here so fire station is pretty big we could hook that up there because we can't do it anywhere in here because that's all spaces all taken up and then with the police we could grab that one and do the same and have that as close as we can on the end so once we've got these roads hooked up that's going to give access to effing counties give us any bonuses or anything no oh we've got some additions oh what have we got extra jails we can add that around the side don't really need that garage extension so what have we got at the minute 16 vehicles so we'll be okay at the moment helipad oh yes that'll be nice but it says overlapping items darn it what's that oh look it's overlapping the flight path no okay we're going to move this into here um, let's just have that up against there there we go helipad we can add that in where's that going to pop it on here oh there it is on the top helipad excellent and all of its needs should be taken care of there was a quickly <laughs> game what are you doing to me i spent ages oh I, I can see this isn't hooked up let's hook that into there there we go um let's hook that one into there there we go and then we'll do the same for the water i'm doing the same with the fire engine we're moving over we're sticking a helipad on there um disaster response unit yes we are popping that on here as well for obvious re uh, reasons training facilities Helps you extinguish fires more fully. Oh, and that looks like a decent upgrade. I'm going to do that one. Garage extension. What have we got already? Vehicles, nine. Yeah, let's add that on. Two. Is that literally it? And then we can add more disaster response units. Okay, we'll do that. And then let's hook up our roads at the side. There we go. That's hooked up nicely. I'm just wondering whether... Oh, we've got to hook this road up around here. Where the... Oh, we can't, can we? No, that's fine. It hooks up around the outside. Were there any offices or anything around here? I don't know whether that's going to be too close to everything that's going on with all the planes taking off and stuff like that. I mean, we could maybe just sort of do a few offices on the corner here. Let's just delete that one and do it again. Maybe a couple on the corner over here. And then when we come back and fill out this area, we could maybe think about adding some in other places. We do have some items being stored in here now. Crude oil excellent so that's going to be shipped out and sold for making of the money yeah never can have enough of that oh look at that we don't have a deficit of crude oil anymore because we're making so much fantastic and that is probably helping us with all of our money situations we never looked at all the jobs here okay nobody has taken over the oil refinery yet and you know what that's probably because it's so far away from everywhere else Thank you very much. Let's just hook that. No, I want that in there. Just to give another little access in and out and see how that helps. And we just do that. There we go. Excellent. Or we could start a whole nother community over here of houses. We have lots of needs 
And I wonder whether we could just take this right on the edge of the map here. Hmm, that's over the flight path going that way. Maybe I want to get this as all forestry. So why don't we just expand ever so slightly out here and add in one more of our uh, forestry buildings? I think, yeah, I can't take that one up there because of this. So let's just go along this way and just bring that up there. Trying to sort of go for differently shaped roads and that sort of thing adds a lot of interest, I think, to this area. And I think we're going to place this down and we're going to unlock something. Nope. <laughs> ah, it's got it in place down properly. Okay, let's delete that. Let's try it again. Place that down. There we go. The paper factory. Paper for all purposes. It's a made of here. Um, just looking at our jobs, actually, while we're thinking about this. Still 16% unemployment. Um, let us just quickly build out the area of this. There we go, not too big. And then we just pop some buildings in here as well. A few commercial, a few commercial, a few indus industrial. There we go. Maybe some over here as well. A couple along the back. I don't mind this bit being quite packed alongside the highway there we've got a few offices spattered around maybe a little bit more industrial there and i think let's have some industrial dotted around over here as well just to try and sort of help with this area yeah that'll be good let's have a look at the paper factory plus five percent industrial efficiency we have got efficiency as kibitz would say out the wazoo there is just so much industrial efficiency going on that is a very large building um i'm going to pop it over here we're going to try and make a little bit of a something of this area um so rather than having that coming off the road there we're going to build it out this way there we go fantastic let's just have a quick look at this paper mill type building have we got a business in there north notes paper excellent Again, a fantastic looking model. Models like this really make me think. Is that for like pulp in the pulp? <laughs> Making the pulp to make the word pulp in the paper. It's a word I'm thinking of. Models like this really make me think that if I flatten this road out, it would look so much better. Yeah, really hold out that in the future when we get our region packs and things like that, things are going to look brilliant. I will flatten this land out one second. There we go. Much, much better. Um, let's just have a look in here so oh, we don't have a company yet okay hopefully we'll get a company in there soon because i want to see how many jobs there we go one thousand odd jobs lots of people claiming those jobs already it doesn't mean they've come to work here yet but they are claiming them uh so if we have a look in here we should start seeing this going down we are look at that there we go unemployed employed the figures are adjusting as we speak, which is fantastic. So there may be alongside this and through here, this side, we could definitely get some industry type stuff going to make use of this space. I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit there. Yeah, I'm not sure that's going to get in and out of there, is it? Okay, let's go here instead. Will that work? No, because that one over there is unhappy. I think we're okay. We've got three different ways in and out. That's good. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is just zone the whole of this thing because we've got so much industrial demand. And I think even up and down these roads here, I don't think it's going to get that busy. Uh, let's just take all of that. So that's going to get a whole ton of jobs in this area we're going to take that we're going to take that we're going to take that there we go and hopefully a lot of these will pop in and help the old paper factory here as well but this section um i'm just thinking the flight area is right through there i wouldn't want to live there but we've got all of this nice wooded place over here with a nice road that comes through yeah why don't we take like all of those let's purchase them and I think if we run this road down here, I don't know where that's going to end up. Is that just going to dead end down there? And we can make a nice little villagey area. We've passed 60,000 population. That's fantastic. Yeah, I think we'll maybe leave that for a future episode. That's getting into a whole nother project. But just looking in here, we have already filled up all of our storage in here which is great because a lot of this is for future use, for later use, as it says. 
So we're going to see a lot of trucks coming in and out of this area as we are, as well as all the trains taking items in and out to be worked on by our industry to be sold. And wow, we are getting a lot of truck traffic coming in here um let's just have a quick look at the traffic lights under here uh, if we go into here go into here and i'm going to change those to advanced split phasing and save that and just see whether that makes a difference to all of the traffic we've got coming from down here Oh, there we go. That worked much better, didn't it? Fantastic. That has gone down well. What is going on here with you waiting on this little section here? There's no lights there, is there? No. So that's fine. What I might just do is... Where's that coming from? Is We don't want these going straight over here. So I'm going to ban straight over on that one. And I'm going to ban straight over on that one. If you're going to go straight over, you stay on the highway. And... We could make that a dedicated left. So if I select that, open this, make this one left only, and then take the lights away. Oh, I don't like the way that one does that. That should go straight on. Right. Ah, oh, okay. Ahead. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. That's much better. I'm just wondering whether we could do the same here. Uh, say the other one. Yeah, we'll do the same there. We'll open this, turn that one to left only, this one to ahead. That's fine. And then we can take those away and save. Did I take the lights away from there? I did. And that keeps the lane going. The rest are okay. Everything is moving very, very well. No traffic anywhere. Fantastic. So with all of this lovely cargo stuff going on and all the money that we're making, we were going to try and push our tax, push our tax rate even lower we are at zero percent now if we go lower on here let's say we do minus one percent that means we're actually paying people to move into our city so rather than do that i'm going to look down here i was going to say and see what sort of needs we need the most of but actually i've got to be honest i mean industry is probably the one that we need the most of let's just have a quick look at our production let's try and use some brain stuff here so crude oil we have a deficit of that uh, if we scroll down here to our material goods so it's always convenience food food textiles and timber um are the biggest mm, i was just thinking if we could try and supplement some of these so timber we could definitely do something about that so let's drop that down to zero uh, what were we making before Two hundred seventy-eight thousand. let's drop it to five <laughs> we want to earn a little bit of money you know we want to give it all away um then let's maybe jump into here and have a look so clothing we could supplement and furniture so let's do that one as well there we go furniture is at the top here so we'll go five percent on that and what i call clothing which is really textiles that is pretty high we're going to drop that one to five percent as well so what you might find is we end up making more money because they're now wanting to come in and use you know make their goods and all that sort of thing and they're going to end up selling more uh this one i'm not going to worry about at the minute is there any others we could really so metals minerals that's all processing stuff from things that we're digging up out of the ground i was going to say it was the rest of that sentence i don't really want to supplement the food but convenience food beverages and food let's do those as well let's do those as well and that's all the the main one so convenience food there we go food and beverages is here as well in a totally different order than you expect from the other one there we go we'll drop that down so we're really really trying to supplement and help all of the people in our city and try and just make more money as we go along so our monthly balance has dropped a little bit but overall we're doing okay per hour let's let that run a little bit and see how that affects things well let's have one last look at the money we are making again ten thousand a month it fluctuates 
<laughs> especially when I point it out on camera, over 360000 an hour, which is a lot more than we were making before. And I'm using some of that money to increase our industrial area. Do you think at some point we can get all the taxes down to zero? Is that even possible? Maybe a challenge for the future. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. And I'll see you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.